Jesus, get out of here. Don't attack me. I'm not coming after your babies. What we have here is an abandoned Amish country house with a barn behind it as well. The reason I call it an Amish country house is because the surrounding properties are, are all Amish, specifically Mennonites. I'm not certain if this was once occupied by Amish, but it is in the same farmlands as the Amish community. I don't know if there's anything left inside, but as you can see, all the windows and doors are open and it's not posted. So if you want to check it out, just come along with me. So the door is uh, not really functioning like a door, but the strange thing is I actually hear power. This is running. Why is there a cooler in here? Yeah, this is running. There is power to this. I guess this would be considered the living room. It is full of furniture. Chairs, a couch, mattresses, old rugs, old windows. Look at the the door latches for locking it. It's a little cupboard area there with a stove pipe. Looks like the kitchen. Bathtub right here in the middle of the floor. There's a stove, sink over there. I wonder, is there lights in here? Let's check. No lights, but there's definitely power to the house with that cooler running. You can also see the smaller two socket plug there, the older style. So there's contents left behind. It doesn't look like much of a home anymore, but it is not completely empty. Kind of left with more questions than anything else as to why it's in this condition, but yet there's still an active cooler. That looks like a 
compressor or pump and actually hear people. <laughs> Hopefully there's nobody coming here. Yeah, there's a really tiny four burner stove and a larger stove in front of it. The sink is over there with some cabinet space. Another pipe there, probably for a wood stove. This, let's see, this is a hallway which leads to the front door which is filled with bed frames. And there's a basement with no steps so I won't be going down there at least that way. There might be outside access. Dirt floor. And what is this? This is locked. Can't get in there. All right, so that door is just the back side of this room right here. So at least we know where that goes. Busted out windows right there too. I'm not even gonna open that. I don't even really wanna know what's in there. Could be anything. It's not my business to find out. I am just documenting the house. There's actually a plug right here too. So something else is plugged in. Ooh, there's birds in here. And possibly bees. I gotta be careful. Ah, uh, I found Christmas. Artificial Christmas tree. Jesus! That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> birds are flying in and out. Yeah, artificial Christmas tree. Officially banned. And here's some type of exercise machine, like a rowing machine. Looks rather primitive. This cooler is powered on. There's a battery on top of it. Another cooler here. An old stove. And a scale right here. This has to be an Amish home. Or formerly used as. But somebody's still coming here though with these coolers. And they're still powered to parts of this house. So we just came from that room. Some odds and ends in here. They're really neat. Kind of lounger right there. Looks like it's leather. Looks like the base of a stove. Some conduit. Uniroyal Laredo tire. Stationary bike, another scale right here. A tank, a sink, some more old windows. This is... Okay, that's the basement there. So we came through that door before. So there's a little connection right here. Move into the back part here. Another cooler, this is a older one. There's the compressor on top of it, old Frigidaire. Frigidaire type YL switch. Floor is wood and it's actually sloped down. It's kind of all sinking towards the center here. I'm not gonna walk in the center of the floor. But look at this room though. It's actually really nice. It's got some built-in shelving there cabinet doors. I believe that's a big fireplace right there in the center. And there's a door there which I believe goes out to the porch. Nature is growing through the window. Another door there and you can actually see daylight coming through because the floor as I mentioned is sinking down. So the floor is lower than the actual door and walls which is not good. I mean, I'm trying to show you as much as I can, but I also don't know what's beneath this floor. There's some old bottles right there. Glass bottles. Cloverdale, I think it says. But I do like the woodwork, though. It looks really nice. Big mantle on top of the fireplace. And just little doors and cubby holes, which is all storage.
And this brings us out to the back. Covered side porch, rear side porch. So far, it's rather interesting. I'm kind of puzzled about, there's a toilet right there. <laughs> kind of puzzled about the powered coolers as to uh, why there's still power here when it's clearly abandoned. Who's paying the light bill and what are they storing in there? But some things are better left unknown. So we do have the upstairs to go. I'm gonna head up there now and then we'll see if we can check out the barn out back. And I do, I uh, thought I heard something, there was a bird. There is some dark clouds moving in. It looks like rain is approaching, so I'm not gonna waste too much more time here. So let's keep moving. Oh, Jesus, get out of here. Don't attack me, I'm not coming after your babies. Oof. These birds don't mess around. Just have to admire this front door too. It's really ornate. Little rectangle sections of glass. It just looks really nice. So that leads us to the staircase, which looks equally as impressive. It's a wraparound staircase, so it goes up, curves to the right. It's got a bluish teal faded paint to it, but really nice set of steps here. There's a third floor as well. Anyone up here? I don't like that the doors are closed. <laughs> now let's go to the first open door, but as mentioned, the steps do keep going. This is a rather large home. Empty room, pile of trash in the corner there. They did have some type of trash bags or tarping on the windows, which is pretty much almost non-existent. You get a glimpse of the wallpaper here. It is flower floral pattern. And what's behind this door? I have to say, despite that one floor in the back by the fireplace that's sinking down, the rest of the house is pretty solid. There's some more built-ins right there. This does have the uh, plaster and lath, which does date the home. Type of coat rack right there. Some nice pieces of furniture. This one's far, too far gone, but you could tell it was nice at one time. There's a bunch of corn cobs here. I wonder if something, an animal is bringing them up here to feast on. And out that window, it is just farmlands. Almost reminds me of a Dutch door. <laughs> partial Dutch door. Oh, there's a back staircase as well. Okay. A lot of doors. Eat, ass, got, crack. <laughs> okay, we'll get to that in a little bit. I didn't know there was a back staircase. So that one door I saw downstairs by the fireplace, I thought went outside, but no, it actually was a rather hidden staircase. Wonder if they had like hired help here. So it makes me question if this was actually an Amish home or if it was just a traditional farmer's home that had hired help and they had like a separate entry or separate living quarters for the help. Did find this shoe. Maybe you could tell me if that's an Amish shoe or not. And this little room here is above the 
exterior porch downstairs where we saw the toilet. And some kind of stuff there. And as mentioned, there they are. All right, so here is the crack room, as I'm going to call it. <laughs> and apparently it's a 666 trap house. Interesting choices of graffiti. Looks like Illuminati might be here. And a little nature scene, mountain, blue sky, and a face. Little tiny room, it's like a mid room. It's not big enough for a bedroom, almost like an office. It looks like this was added on because this is an exterior window, but now it's interior. So this looks like it's an addition at one time. It's a rather large room. It says this is Spock or Spocky. It's like old graffiti. It's like a pastel color, bluish, sky blue, teal room. Okay, so this is one of the closed doors that we saw when we came to the top of the steps. Skeleton keys. A lot of ventilation. There's no mold that I could really sense. Some decay, but most of it is vandalism. Broken windows, holes in the walls. It looks like the roof is relatively intact. That is a pull string, but far too high for me to reach. We do have, I think, another room. If I'm not mistaken, when we came to the top of the steps, let's see if we could get access to that and see what that yields as far as findings. But yeah, much larger on the inside than I realized. So that one is the one... Were we in this room? No. It's a completely different room. It's like a fun house. More built-in shelving cabinets. Tall ones at that. And looks like this is the Happy Days room. Wonder if the Fonz lived here. Hey! <laughs> My horrible impression, but smiley face, handprints, tarping on the windows. This would make an excellent reconverted haunted house, without a doubt. It is a good size home. All right, I think we got the second floor covered. Let's go to the third. love the staircase. It's one of the highlights of this house for me. So there you can see the plaster is missing. All the lath strips are exposed. And there's one door here. Is this where they keep the troublemakers? Oh, it's a lock-up attic. Okay, that's why this is in relatively good condition. It's got a metal roof. Corrugated metal. Yeah. Big space up here. Just some miscellaneous lumber and other non-important things. I'm not going to go too far up here because some of the floors do look kind of sketchy. I do see dirt dauber or mud dauber nest up here as well. This could be converted into living space. This is a huge walk-up attic. A lot of potential up here. Yeah, I do absolutely love 
the staircases without a doubt. So I think we covered pretty much all the interior spaces of this home, minus the basement. I'll see if we can find access outside. If not, we're gonna head behind the house and check out the bar and see if there's anything worth checking out there. But since we're here, and since it's there as part of this property, might as well document it. I also missed too that there's another tub laying right here. And on the steps, I walked right by it, there's an animal trap. Here's my uh, hand for comparison. What do you think that's for? Maybe squirrels or rabbits? It has a creep vibe to it, but it doesn't feel creepy inside. Just on appearance. Here's the side of the home. You can see up there, section of the metal roof is missing through there, so moisture is getting in. None of the lights turned on, but there's definitely power to the house, powering those coolers. Here's the back. Back door there. And then we do have this large barn back here. It looks like something was here as well that's collapsed or deconstructed. But I'm going to see if I could safely get over there, make sure that there's no posted signs, no snakes, because there's rather high grass. But at the very least, it'll be worthy of some photos, so make sure you stay tuned for a photo montage. Now let me scope it out, and if we can get inside, we'll do that next. Nothing but fields and mountains all around. This looks like it might be used in some capacity. Yeah, there's equipment inside. Right there I do see something that says Badger on it. This is parked out front here. I think just to be respectful, I'm not going to go inside. It is used at least for storage. This was moved here probably in the last week or so. There is something around there. I do want to investigate that. I don't like walking through this high grass. Oh, it's about seven, eight feet deep. <clears throat> I'm guessing that would have been for water, possibly. Yeah, 100% this is used by someone. There is modern equipment in there. Rather odd though. What an amazing area though. Just the background here, almost like a postcard. I'm gonna walk around the rest of the property here, make sure I didn't miss anything. I'll see if there's possibly basement access and if there's actually anything worth going down there for. From what I could see from the inside though, this basement was just a dirt floor. I didn't see anything down there. But it's a gorgeous property. But like I always ask, why did they leave? What forced them out? Or why did they choose to leave? Why is there still power to the house? What's in those coolers? Always more questions than answers, but that's why I love doing these properties because your curiosity gets to run wild, you get to use your imagination, and you get to document something and give it life for just a few moments. Right now, it's a forgotten home. Maybe bad stuff took place. Who knows? I don't want to speculate, but you're welcome to use your imagination and share your thoughts down below. This is another great view, kind of seeing things from this perspective. We were up there. That's the part I said is it looks like an addition, which I still think it is. There's aluminum siding, but the siding on the inside there is wood, like the shiplap. At some point they did add aluminum siding. Covered rear porch. 
Looks like this was just their main porch at one time, but became extended when they put that addition on. And it looks like there is an open basement here. So I guess we'll take a little gander and see. This is the access to the back porch, the steps completely grown in by vines. Another horse and buggy coming. As you can tell, we are in the basement. This is not the actual opening. This is collapsed and fallen in. It's a stone wall. And there's a stairwell, what's left of it. And an upside down kerosene heater. Complete stone foundation. It's a dirt mud floor, so I'm not walking too far in because it is soft. But nothing of interest down here. Another trap right here. And this box right here says, um, the wood says fishing, tackle, guns, rifles, revolvers, and all kinds of sporting goods. And again, this is not the true door. It looks like they had a makeshift door built on top of the stone wall, which collapsed in. The true door or manway is right there. Watch your head coming out. And I hope you have your tetanus shot. Ugh. There we have it, an abandoned Amish country home in Amish country. Can't say for certain if it's indeed an Amish home, but it's definitely surrounded by Amish families. Multiple horse and buggies went by when I was here, and we did see some evidence inside of possibly a family living here that was Amish. Much larger than I realized. Surprisingly large, in really good condition, thanks to the metal roof but with those holes up there that will have to be fixed, otherwise it is gonna start deteriorating and rotting and getting mold. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. If there's anything you saw that could help maybe date the home or tell about the type of family that lived here, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, 
Thanks for joining me for this Amish country adventure here in Amish country. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.